Hey folks, welcome back. So we just learned a bit about the Timely Guard and of course it's a fairly confusing concept and so we're going to practice it a bunch today and we're going to have yet another tool to put into our toolbox. First things first, I'm just going to level up and at this point, uh, let me just double check uh, if I have any Guardian Spirit considerations. The answer is no. So what do I need? What do I care for? Honestly, at this point, I'm not really sure. It's again, I'm in the situation where it's quite difficult for me to figure out what I want to level up and that's okay. You don't have to worry too much about your level, your core stat assignments or anything like that for the beginning of the game. Right now I'm just looking at my proficiencies. I got enough ninja, I got enough magic. I think I need to get them up to like what a hundred thousand eventually. So I, I don't really remember all the cutoffs, but you'll want to use them up as frequently as you can just to get them up but for the time being I think I'm probably just gonna be boring and just level up my stats evenly you can safely do this to like 30 in all stats and then if you want to min max you can but again worst case scenario you don't like your stat assignment just use a book of reincarnation can't use that in a mission but you can always do that at any time and they're very cheap so you don't have to worry too much about it but let me give you another way to think of say understanding the timely guards so as you may briefly recall the timely guards most of them only apply in mid many of them only apply in mid stance it's not always the case you can perform a timely guard in any stance no matter what but some abilities like the swords back wave only applies in mid stance uh, back wave two what is it actually called you'd think i'd remember everything by now but what is it back wave oh it's just called back wave uh, back wave two is a separate thing um, so back wave is this, as you see over on the other side. But yeah, so that the closest thing in terms of timing for this, just treat it the same way as a phantom burst counter, and you'll be in pretty decent shape. So it's still going to require some practice, and if you need something to work on, I think just working on the phantom burst counter timing will work well. But otherwise, if you're not too familiar with the phantom type, then basically the moment something invades your personal space or even comes close to it or you think it's going to, just block. And with mid stance, there's a little bit of an animation that you're trying to sync up. You notice it looks like he's bracing himself in contrast to save high stance, in which it looks very jagged. With mid stance, there seems to be a more fluid animation. You know, I just noticed, if you look at his feet, it looks like, like, dust is coming out. Does that apply for low stance? No, it doesn't. The more you know. There you go. There's another way to look at it. Okay, I am officially done. Yeah, look at those feet. No, I'm not done. Yeah, look at those dust clouds. Got a gameplay animation. These are such arbitrary details. Anyway, just continuing on, and I'm going to try to practice much as I can. So we're back to a Tesso. So Tesso's got that good old glowing tail as a weak spot to interrupt it. But beyond that, let's just go using whatever we have. Good old burst attack to counter. Oh. Oh, boom. And got the feral shifting grapple. Always a pleasure to pull that off. Oh, you got a little fart cloud. Just don't even care. Oh, oh, and dead yet again. Okay, hopefully you've been paying attention with this enemy. And you'll be all right. It's really not too bad. It's very telegraphed when it comes to trying to do burst attacks. You usually steps back and then winds it up. There's very few attacks that are of any threat. But okay, let's practice yet again the timely guard. Hey, I'm here, man. So there's that. If you block too early, it's a block. Block too late, you're gonna get hit. So you'll eventually kind of get the feel for it. Again, very similar to the Phantom Burst counter. Worst case scenario, you'll be... If you block too early, then all you gotta worry about is just a little key loss, which isn't that big of a deal. But all right, let's continue this level and just keep practicing the Timely Guards, which again, work on anything, any enemy, but there are only certain abilities that function off of a timely guard and sword is one of them and it's really valuable against humans because humans for the most part will do normal attacks and that's pretty much what you want to aim to timely guard or parry in general but all right 
We've got a dweller over here and it looks like there's some cannon attachments and let's just be cheap. Oh my god. You know, you'd think I would have learned about tech not saving me, but I'm totally wrong. Isn't this still pretty awesome? Alright, let's shoot these down. What does this one shoot? Off in the distance. Blow up a bunch of barricades, I guess. And this one will destroy that tower. Boom! It's gone. Also, side note, totally irrelevant to this, but I have changed the controller layout and mimicked last to load simply because I like it more. So hooray for me stealing more things from that lovely channel. If you don't know what I'm talking about, last to load is freaking awesome. And I frequently refer to his work because it's so great. Yeah, look at that. I can punish this dude because I know what he's going to do. Let's go for a stab. And yeah, pretty sweet. And I think I cleared all that last time, but let's just go over here. We've got a lot of things to worry about. Pick off. So let's use this enemy's predictability to get some timely guards off. So remember this guy, right? Oh, and dead. Very, very nice. We got a lot to uncover. Let's not waste too much time. One, so while I'm talking about timely guards, I'm sure many of you aren't just doing what I do and stick with the sword. Oh, here's a Sudama. Um, what am I going to give you? Is that stronger or weaker than my sword? That looks, that actually will end up being stronger. So let me actually swap right away. Yeah, right? That's stronger? Yeah, but it will be at full familiarity. Okay. So then, let me get rid of... Uh, I guess here. Take this. Sure. So, while the Sudama's doing that, some of you are probably playing a bunch of different weapons. So, this Timely Guard parry timing is really valuable for weapons like the Odachi. So, Bolting Boar is one of the very few parries that de will work against many many yokai like it's ridiculous so if you are an odachi fan or use odachi at all bolting board is an excellent weapon that takes advantage of this timely guard as well and you can get it right away you know that, and it's remarkable uh, let's there are many other weapons that have that but bolting board is a major standout but okay Let's keep it going and the timing for most by the way the timing for most if not yeah the most weapons is pretty much identical timely guard timing a phantom burst counter timing they are kind of the i want to say the base the foundation for many timings for lots of parries so here look i'll, I'll get a timely guard off it doesn't really do much in this case but there's eventually items What's this guy looking at dude okay all right whatever <laughs> Boosh, boosh. But eventually there's items that really take advantage of the timely guard mechanic. This is a bit of late end game type stuff, but there's an item called the Yata Mirror, which if you have, and if let's say you're not necessarily a beginner, if you have that item, then my advice for practicing timely guards would to be pick enemies that shoot cannons and then just try to get that timing off. Like just be at a very safe distance when you can reliably see their cannon shots and then just practice blocking that over and over and over again and then you'll have you'll have the muscle memory for timely guard timing and it is absolutely wild okay what you got can't handle sort of discernment can you nope you can't all right we got a yoki over here oh there's a kodama nearby <laughs> Oh, well, well played, well played. Okay, uh, yeah, a, a thousand plus hours experience, by the way. But that actually made me realize I don't have damage numbers on. So let me do that real quick. That's all right, I'll just run back there. So again, if you have a Yatsa mirror, which is again, a pretty rare item to get, but if you have that practice against enemies who fire slow shots, like bows and arrows, or cannons from a large distance, and you'll be able to eventually get the timing down. That is another very good way to practice the timely guard. And again, it works on any weapon. So you'll be in really good shape with that. 
Come here. Whoa, 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 easy there, Sparky. All right, we got a low stance Odachi guy. Just the same usual stuff I'm sure you guys are used to by now. But yeah, one other thing I want to make clear. Um, input buffering isn't just unique to running attacks. You can buffer like anything you want. So whether it's like guard attacks or sheath attacks as you may have seen. It's not just restricted to running attacks. I just wanted to make sure that was clear in case I had tripped that up. Okay, note to self, don't get hit by an explosive barrel. All right, mix up time. Yep, I'm going in. Oh, I'm not going in right now. Ow. Need to be careful. Need to be a little cautious. Break that horn. Go all out. Here, let's add in Yokai Shift, because why the heck not? I'm start getting you guys used to this stuff. Cool. So, uh, one thing I'm, I'm just adding, I'm starting to just add more in for you guys. So, one thing I like to do is, let's say I know an enemy is going to be downed out of key, I will willy-nilly just throw out Yokai Shift. Just because it's such a good power tool, and I don't want players to think that it's only a get-out-of-jail-free card, because that's a very limiting way to evaluate a really fundamentally powerful skill. I'm actually going to kill this guy again because I know there's loot that I found, but now I can start being more aggressive. And if I see an attack that I know is going to perhaps allow me to go for a timely guard, then yeah, I will totally take advantage of that. Let me just get this, get this guy's attention. Get over here. Or just stay over there, buddy. Wait. Look at that, I can even buff for the Jitsu. Cool, huh? Alright, I got some salt. That wasn't salty enough already. Alright, let's just keep going through this level. We'll practice the Timely Guard, which again works on anything. And with any weapon, but only certain abilities. will actually take full advantage of the mechanic. So, we've got a rather precarious situation here. Oh! Bell Tower, whatever, activated everybody. So, we're gonna have to pick off enemies one at a time. Now, he's in high stance, so he's gonna do high stance attacks, right? Predictable as heck. I don't know why I said heck. Whee! So, yeah. Again, if an enemy is predictable, timely guards are so awesome to use. Alright, we've got a cannon shot. We're gonna use it and do 8,000 damage. Okay, we got a little bell tower over there. Um, let's see if I can get this guy's attention. It's always good to isolate individual enemies together. All right, running overhead attack. No, I was wrong, but it don't matter. He's dead. Sometimes it's a guess and check, but once you get familiar with enemies, it's really not too bad. Like I'm getting shot at by a cannon. I don't really want to be there. So let's just go over here. This seems like a safer, safer route. So more spider eggs. Like my enemy sensor is tingling. Is there something on the ceiling? Yeah, of course. Look at that. Look at that. Kill the spider. No hesitation. Spiders are very stagger. Oh my god, what the actual spider. Oh, screw up the jutsu cancel. Oh well. Ah! Hey, look. I'm not cool with this. Get out of here. Alright, let's see what else we got. Oh, looks like there's that, but enemy sensor tells me there's a spider. Bring the spider out here. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's multiple enemies. Alright, Jitsu, let's go. Okay, to be safe. Just back away, remember that tail. Oh god, what have I done? First attack! I was right! Okay, we got some distance. Let's go to now to the Tesso. Alright, let's see what he's gonna do. 
All right, he's slowed down, so I've got a big advantage. If I hit that tail, I get a good interrupt. Oh! All right, perfect time to do this. Oh well, messed that up. That's okay. Burst attack? Nope. See, he just—if he usually when he backs out, a pretty good tell that he's gonna do a burst attack. Burst attack now? Nope. Grab. You get quite a bit of time. All right, now I'm expecting. No. Oh god, this attack. This attack is scary. You can, if you're lucky, you can interrupt it by hitting his tail. But, whoa, okay camera. But otherwise you can sometimes just fish for the burst attack if you don't want to take too many risks. And I really didn't want to take a risk there, so I didn't bother. All right, let me try the double jutsu cancel yet again. I can't do it for squat. I'm still, still a bit too early with that. You know, I really should not be trying to do what I'm doing. All right, let's keep going. Okay, let's just go. All right, he's dead. Goody. Oh, we've got another Tesso, so let's just shoot it. Yeah, I can buffer the sheath. Let's just spice it up with some other good Oh, oh, with some other soul cores. Very nice. So yeah, I'm, I'm not that good at the double jutsu cancel. What the? Okay, whoa, another Tesso. I should have paid attention to my darn radar thing. All right, interrupted it. Let's just switch. First counter types. Because why not? Do I want to do some other moves? The answer is absolutely. Let's go. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, a lot of repetition makes a huge difference. And is, in all honesty, going to be one of the most valuable things you can do as you continue to play. Alright, let's check what's over here. Probably just maybe like mage locks or something. I don't know. Herbal Remedy. Oh, I was right. Mage Locks. Okay. Looks like I can get a certain skill. Okay, great. And then what am I going for in Ninjutsu? I don't even remember at this point. Oh, yeah, you can get Quick Change. I know I talked about it before, but Quick Change is pretty handy. Basically an extra life. I have no real interest in it, but um, the Super Feathers are over here. And this Dodge thing is over there, so I'll probably just get it for now so I can get this later. But again, worst case scenario, I just respec. Always super cheap. Now what do we got over here? Just more things to get. Mud jar, sacred brush. Is my loot filter? Forget. Do I have my crazy loot filter on again? I might explain it. Okay, I'll just pick up rares or above. No big deal. Okay, what else we got? Looks like I can get some extra anima, extra soul cores. They're fine by me. See where this path yields. Ooh, there's a Kodama over here. Okay, where are we now? Um, Alright, we got a Yoki. Oh, there's the bell tower. So I probably came from somewhere over in that direction. So I remember there's someone shooting me with a cannon. So let's see what we have. Aha! Got more of that. Oh, looks like we've got this skeleton's attention. Spinny Winnie. Go in! Go. Ooh, that was a bit lucky. Do a sheath cancel. Wow, 1400 damage. That's pretty, that's not bad at all. All right, I can safely think I go for a double jutsu cancel. Nice. I even actually got a timely guard off there. All right, I'm out of key, unfortunately, so I'll have to regenerate. It looks like it's gonna get knocked down, right? Dab. Super dead. Alright, let's use these cannons. Oh, I should have used the one on the left. Alright, we'll blow that up and then we'll clear the rest of the enemies. Alright.
Alright, we got one enemy here, one enemy there. Take advantage of Big Boom. Ah, you're dead. <laughs> Blew that up. Let's take advantage of Big Boom again. Did a modest amount of damage. Alright, let's break that horn. Yokai ability. And now, Yokai shift, because I can. Oh, that was short lived. That's okay. Got a lot of power out of it. Oh, there's a cannon here too. Let's see what it hits. Is that Yoki in the distance? Dude, let's just, just let's just take advantage of this. Oh man, don't move, come back. There you go, you're on fire. It's okay. Um, I promise I won't do that again. Yeah, just stand there. That's really smart. Well, at least you died in a literal blaze of glory. Alright, we've got quite a lot of things to explore around here. Looks like there's an uh, Amrita around there, but there's an enemy, it looks like, on that general direction. So let's see what we've got. Oh, we've got someone I can shoot. Get some arrows, I got plenty of those. Looks like there's quite a few enemies. Alright, that's an instant death. Oh, what do you know? We got that. Just blow it up. That's super dead. All right, what do we got? And go over here. Go take out this guy, fair and square. All right, spear guy, spear and low stance. Generally, enemies, uh, human enemies, basic ones like this, will kind of rotate between doing quick attacks or strong attacks. It kind of just depends. So he's in high stance now. Let's just see what he does. So that's like the equivalent of the strong attack for these guys. That's the quick attack. So yeah, they kind of rotate in between. All right, let's go. But yeah, so eventually you can start doing things like interrupting their attacks, but for now we've got a great way to punish them for being predictable. All right, so you kind of kind of know what to expect. Easy peasy. It's really all things considered not too bad to just to start layering in the timely guard on top of everything else that we know. All right, so we've got quite a few enemies. It looks like there's one. This is a dual swords guy, so and what are you going to start with? Okay, so that's the high stance strong, so he's going to do the quick next. What's strange is that he's a little on the slow side. Aw, that's okay. We oh, blocked it. Oh, God. All right, he's in mid stance now, so now he's back to high stance. He's a little on the slow side, come on. But yeah, right now I'm just putting in a couple of timely guard things. Not too complicated. Nothing too complicated. Let's see, uh, I might want to clear that area a little later. May not have the time right now. Um, yeah, we'll come back. Actually, no. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna do it. I don't care if this lesson's super long. This guy's super dead. Shoot him right in the children. Well, his ability to give birth to children. Actually, he... I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Whoa! That dog got some serious air time. Alright, looks like I, I didn't realize Air Bud was uh, hired here, man. Anyway. What we got? So I killed a Yoki. What did you die to? Cut down by the Yoki that I already killed. Whoa! Oh, big skeleton! It has a hammer! Use this. Oh, it missed! Alright, remember, they got some crazy wake-ups, so... Take advantage of it. Again, an enemy that's predictable, even if it's scary, means you can mess around with it. Alright, skeleton warrior soul core. Alright, what's in here? Oh, we got a Wyra again. Oh, it's doing that. Okay. Hit the back generally and you'll be in good shape. All right, check this out. Yokai shift time as soon as I can. And one cool thing, when you do a shifling grapple, you actually charge up your Yokai abilities almost immediately, most of them. Uh, with the exclusion of like a few 
super expensive ones, but it's a really handy tool to throw in every so often. Ooh, bed Bedrock Blaster. It was quite powerful. All right, let's put it there. Let's see if I got any other upgrades as well. Wow, level 65. If only I was using Odachi, that'd be pretty nice. My Fox Mask. I think I like this mask a lot, right? Yeah. Everything else I think is more or less not that important. Shinobi Kiros. Wow, look at that defense. Okay. Um, anything else? Uh, not quite. Okay, I guess. Oh, I'm in good shape. So let's continue. Let's see what other little enemies or things I have left to clear. Uh, what else? There's stuff I missed underground, in all honesty. Do a quick check. Oh, wait, there's something over there. Alright, let me go around and get it. I, like, drop down here. Where do I go? Oh. I'm just dumb. That's okay. <laughs> I am navigationally very challenged. I'm an amnesiac when it comes to all this anyway. Alright, what do we got? We got this. Yeah, I don't know why they aren't here with reinforcements. You should ask them. Take it up with management. Oh, I never got this. Of course I didn't. Fragrant wood? Leading guardian amulet? Alright, I see what else we got. I think, yeah, I've already been all the way here. So let's just go to the shrine and take a little breather. This is admittedly a bit long, but I'll just recap kind of what we have tried to practice and go from there. So, up the shrine. Dude, I can level up. Um, at this point, I don't really care, so. Alright, we'll put it there. Do it, soul cores I got. Wyra and Skeleton Warrior. Okay. Have I gotten Wyra before? Yeah, I have. Okay. Well, oh, cool. We got more stuff. So, alright, before I go, just a quick recap when it comes to Timely Guard. And you gotta do, you do have to practice this. So, with many, many weapons there are abilities that function off a timely guard but you can do it in any stance and timely guard is typically just block all right uh, parry timing is pretty much the same as timely guard timing and all of this it will be very comfortable to you if you can get the phantom burst counter down so if that would be a great way to work with it also uh, i know the silly thing with the the feet animation so maybe that helps you know when you need to land the attack in i don't know that, that's something uh, pretty brand new like literally this video but again phantom burst counter timing if you can get that down you're in good shape for timely guards if you have access to a yatamir for any of those who are watching this and you're really far ahead into the game if you have a yatamir work against a cannon someone who has a really predictable ranged attack so you can get familiar with when you want to block so you can reflect that cannon so that will be good and you gotta practice this so that we can take advantage of enemies being very predictable but i'm gonna leave it there thanks for watching and i will see you guys next time